Today we're going to be learning about how to use ES6 backticks for your template literals in JavaScript. So you can turn something like this that's hard-coded from something like this that's using uh, concatenation to something like this using backticks. Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of DevDrawer. Today we're going to be learning a little bit more about uh, ES6 backticks and um, template literals. So I've kind of touched on it in a few of my other JavaScript tutorials where you know, you've seen that I've used the backtick, but you may not know necessarily what that's for compared to the way that you normally do it. So I'm going to do a very quick tutorial today just kind of going over you know what the difference between uh, you know ES5 and ES6 is, as well as just doing like a literal or uh, declaring a string. So uh, just uh, this one's going to be mostly in the console. So I'm gonna go ahead and go live on our server here, just so we can open it up, and we're just going to view the console so that we can see that as it's coming through. Uh, right now there is nothing, so we will just uh, go ahead and start working. So the way that you may be familiar with it is something like this. So let's create a variable, and I'm going to use variable instead of constant because I'm going to be uh, basically reusing the same variable so you can see it each time. But let's do a variable, and um, let's just say it's going to be a string, and this is going to equal to actually... Let me go ahead and wrap this in script since I'm doing it inside of the index.html page. Okay, so now we have a variable equal string, and I'm just going to say my name is the dev drawer, and I'm going to add a second line which will be slash in, and my age is 36, which is actually my age. So if we do a console dot log here and we just log out that string we should be able to see it over here where it is now showing us you know my name is the dev drawer my age is 36 on two different lines so your content that you're passing to JavaScript is not always going to be feasible this way uh, right now we're adding this new line segment which is this slash in which is adding it to a second line for us but like I said, you know, whenever you're passing content from a database or an API or something like that, um, you're not always going to have that ability to add that new line in there. Sometimes you're actually using like a literal version of a string. So let me show you how. So this will be like, you know, just using it as a string. So let me go ahead and put that in there. I don't know why I keep typing an A there. Um, so this will be using it as a, you know, just a regular string. So right now, let's look at how you would normally do it in ES5 using double quotes. So ES5 double quotes. Here we can do the same thing, but we can declare variables. So let's come up here and declare a variable. So we're going to do var name equals the dev drawer. And then we're going to do var age equals 36. So down here in the, uh, not what I want to click on down here in the um, in the ES5 uh, string this is where we would go in here and create these double quotes so with the ES5 double quotes we're essentially going to concatenate the same string which is it's a lot of additional work uh, you'll be able to see the difference between the ES6 backticks versus the double quotes um, so we have our variables declared up here so let's go ahead and write out our string again so we're going to do var string equals my name is and then we're going to concatenate it so we have my name is and then we're going to do the plus sign name and then we're going to do another plus sign and then we're going to add in that uh, slash in to create that new line and then we're going to do plus again my age is and then again we're going to concatenate this string which is going to allow us to put in our age and then finally the period at the end. So if we do console.log string, it'll display the exact same thing, but it's a lot of work. So this one right here is more like yeah, there is no dynamic variables, you know, so everything's coming in as what you're typing it in, but you're still having to do some extra work in order to add that second line. 
Uh, this one's using variables, but of course you're concatenating everything, which makes it a lot more difficult to be able to work with, um, especially if you don't know what that string is. So let's get down to the ES6 part. So we're gonna do ES6, and this is gonna be using backticks. So if you're not familiar with backticks, it's essentially uh, this character. That character is right beside the one on your keyboard. It's to the left of it. So if you put in that, you can essentially use you know backticks inside of your JavaScript. And it makes it a lot easier to be able to read it, write it, concatenate it, all that kind of stuff. So again, let's do var string. And with this one, instead of using double or single quotes, we're going to use the backticks. And then let's go ahead and console log our string, which will show nothing right now because there's nothing in it. But let's write our thing. So let's do my name is. And then in order to pass a variable to a ES6 uh, string literal, you have to do dollar sign and then your open curly brackets, pass to the name, and then a period. So there is no concatenation, no no periods that are being needed to be added or anything like that. You can see now it's you know it's grabbing this variable and it's parsing it the way we want to, but without any of the additional work that ES5 had. Um, so let's go ahead and do my age is actually this needs to be inside of the back tick. So let's do this. My age is, and then we're going to do dollar sign curly brackets age with a period. So as you can see over here it's displaying it but it's not putting it on a new line so one of the cool things about um, this is one thing we need to do is just add an enter there and you can see over here it is reflecting it with this new line without having to add the new line text into it um, so essentially it's just a much easier way to be able to write your code in JavaScript to be able to handle specific variables and it allows you to write it a lot quicker without having to really think about what you're doing. I mean, it's a literal interpretation of the string that you're trying to do, hence the name, a literal string. So string literals aren't only limited to strings, they can also be done with expressions. So if we do an ES5 expression, it would be something like this. So we're gonna do var a equals one, var b equals two, and then var string equals, um, this is just going to be writing out the string. It's a little bit difficult. So we're going to do a plus b and equals and then what the final variable is, which is going to be plus a plus b. So let's come in here and do where the actual variables are visible. So we're going to do a and then plus b. Okay, so let's see what that gives us. Uh, we need a console log it out. So console.log string. All right, so now we have a1 equal plus b2 equals 3. So 1 plus 2 equals 3. So that's easy enough or difficult enough in ES5. So let's do ES6 expressions. So we're going to use the same variable, so uh, a and b. So let's go ahead and write that out. So we're going to do var string equals with our back ticks. Var, uh, there we go. So we're going to do it with our uh, back ticks and we're going to do a, let's see, dollar sign a plus b, with our dollar sign b equals and then dollar sign with the actual expression so a plus b and then we're going to do console dot log string so as you can see here it produces the same thing so a1 plus b2 equals 3 but from what you can see over here this expression here is much easier to write than this expression. Well, this the string, but the expression would be here, so a plus b. So it does calculations as well. Um, there's also some other things that you can do with um, template, template literals. Um, so let's say we wanted to do a tagged template literal. So I'm going to do um, this is going to be inside of ES6. So we're going to do tagged template 
literals, and then we're gonna create a function. So we're gonna create a function and we're gonna call it template. And then we're going to pass a string, which would be uh, my name is, my age is, blah, blah, blah. So once we pass that, we're going to now pass an array, which is the three dots signify that it's an array. So values. Uh, for right now, I'm just gonna do console.log string, just so you can see what it's producing. So console.log values, and then we're just gonna return true. Okay, so now let's actually use this function inside of a uh, literal string. So we're gonna do var string equals template, because that's the name of our function, and then backtick. We're gonna do my name is dollar sign name, comma, my age is dollar sign age, period. And then let's do the answer is uh, dollar sign a plus b for our expression and then let's go ahead and put a period at the end of that now let's do console.log actually we don't need to do a console log here because it's already being console logged out um, essentially what this function is doing is it's taking our strings and it's converting it into something that you can see so we have our string here which is my name is, my age is, the answer is, and then the period at the end. So we have key variables 0, 1, 2, 3 that's coming from our string and then down here we have the dev drawer 36 and 3. So it's taken our variables that we're passing to this string over here and it's actually passing it to the function and then it's um, right now it's just console logging it out. So what I want to do now is to create an iteration of what we were doing up here inside of a function. So let's come down here and create another function. So we're going to do function create string and then we're only going to pass in the values. So we have our array values and then we're going to return and I'm essentially just going to copy and paste this for now and then switch out to the variables that we need. So if you remember from the console log values that is coming out, we have um, three, which is the, uh, what is it? Uh, three variables, which is zero, one, and two. So what we're fixing to do is actually create the reference to this function, but it's going to pass everything at one time and then it's gonna split it up. So essentially it's gonna have zero, one, two, three, for the key values and you'll see that in just a second so let's come down here we want to create another string so var string equals create string because we're actually calling it you know as a function and then we want to pass in name age and a plus b and that's going to be our string let's do our closing back tick and then we're going to console log this string right now it's not going to work because we don't have it console logging out what we want it it's essentially just taking the values from the previous uh, answers so what we want to actually do is for these values we have these key value pairs so if we come up here and we do a console log values you can kind of see what i'm talking about where now it has an array key of four instead of three so if we're looking at this, it has the entire raw array here as the zero key, and then we have one, two, and three that's used for our values. So over here in our function, instead of doing dollar sign name, we're gonna do values one, and then over here, instead of age, we're gonna do values two, and then over here, we're going to do values three, three. So it'll produce the same result as what we were getting, but now this is actually what we're taking it here. So if the var values wasn't declared up here, it wouldn't have been used inside of our function. Uh, basically, it's just passing over you know, what we're actually declaring it as. So this is a way that you can you know, use these functions inside of these template literal JavaScript, uh, ES6 functionality, you know, backticks, all that good stuff. You can essentially use that and you can you know, iterate through it this way 
because you're passing it as an array. So you can you know pass as much stuff as you want to here. So we can even come over here and add something like uh, something that's not being used yet. So let's do uh, count. And I'm just going to pass in a value. So we're going to do var count equals three. So now it's passing in a count, but we're not using it anywhere. So we can also come over here before that and then pass in that value. So values four and be able to see that what our count is. There, I need to closing. So now we have a count of three. If we change this, so let's say we make it 100, and now it's gonna reflect it as 100. So essentially we're passing in these variables to this function that we've created here, and then we're just returning it. But you can do all kinds of cool stuff with, with this. You can you know, iterate through it. So let's say if you know the age is, let's say, let's comment that out for now. And let's do something like if uh, values, uh, what was it, values two is see, greater than uh, 35, we can return, um, let's see, return my age is greater than 35. So now it should return uh, let's see function well we're just we're not doing we don't need the back ticks here so my age is greater than 35 um, so let's say if we did something that was less than it's going to return nothing right now so less than 35 it's returning an undefined um, we can have it do an else statement here or we could just you know return it afterwards and so my age is less than 35 so you know essentially this will allow us to take the values that we're entering in here and we can do you know functionality with them you know so forth and so on so it's pretty cool to be able to use these template literals to be able to pass information a lot easier you know it's a lot easier to write something out you know this way compared to this way or you know adding new lines without having to add the new line uh, command here so it's a lot easier to be able to write in this template literal strings compared to you know ES5's version of it where you have to concatenate everything um, so hopefully you learned something from this I know it's a very basic very simple tutorial I'm trying to do something very quick for you guys but you know this is you know, it's the new way of doing things. A lot of people are, you know, not a lot of people, but most people have already moved to ES6. Um, so if you haven't, you know, there's a lot of cool functionality that's built into ES6 back ticks versus ES5 double quotes. Um, so hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment uh, below and I'll try to answer it as much as I can. But for now, I think this is going to do it. And I will talk to you later.